I right, thank everybody for coming in this uh, torrential downpour. Rain's supposed to be good luck, so you're gonna have a lot of it. Welcome family and friends. We've gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Caitlin Carroll and Christian Helwig. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. Today, they will affirm their bond formally and publicly. Wait, you want to open it up and stick on, on it? Make sure your ringer's off. Put your outfit change. Well, you have sandwich. your little black ones on, like sugar bear. When they're tent wedding, and I was like, oh, I know the boat was supposed to rain. Christian and Josh were going to go out and fish on the dock. Dating the Hellwig boys isn't always easy <laughs> and I'm super thankful that Katie has been around all these years to compare notes with. Is this normal? Does yours do that too? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> or just to give each other a heads up when one of them is in a good mood because that almost always means that the other one is grumpy. <laughs> almost always. <laughs> On a more serious note, I'm so happy and grateful that our families are finally coming together. Watching your love grow and watching both of you change and grow together and as individuals over the years has been so inspiring. You two complement and balance each other out in a way that only soulmates can. I'm so excited that we get to do this thing called life together with you as husband and wife. Well, you looked me in the eyes and you said it And your face can say it all so I know you meant it And if I lose my way Will I know where to find you? Will I know where to find you? I, Christian, take you, Caitlin, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Caitlin, take you, Christian, to be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my forward. love from this day forward. In the, in the presence, presence of God, God our family, family and, and our friends, friends I promise to love, you, promise unconditionally, to love you unconditionally, to honor you and respect you, respect you to laugh with you and cry with you, and, you, and to be grateful for our love and our life. And our life. I vow to be I patient, to be with, patient you and myself, with you and myself, to encourage you to achieve all of your goals, to always be open and honest with you, to fill our life with adventure and our home with laughter, and to cherish you in this life and the next. I give you this ring as a sign I choose you to be my wife, my partner, my best friend, today, tomorrow, always, and forever. I give you this ring as a sign that I choose you to be my husband, my partner, my best friend, today, tomorrow, always, and forever. We now come to the words that Christian and Caitlin want to hear the most today. The words that will take them across the threshold from being engaged to being married. Christian, do you take Caitlin to be your wife? I do. Caitlin, do you take Christian to be your husband? I do. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> we'll pause there. First yeah. Right. Keep you guessing. Yeah. By the power of your love, commitment to each other, by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of Maryland, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> it is my privilege to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Christian Helwig. Well, Christian, <laughs> it's crazy how time flies. It feels like just yesterday we were riding four wheelers, playing in muddy ditches, shooting birds with BB guns, and wrestling in the floor. And it seems like in the blink of an eye, we grew up. We moved to a small town in Maryland 
made new friends, finished school, got big boy jobs. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> and we even met our soulmates along the way. You were, you were always there for me to look up to, no matter how much you would intentionally piss me off. <laughs> I've always admired your commitment to serving the community, and now, here you are, getting married to a hardworking, smart, wonderful woman who is definitely too good for you. <laughs> Katie, you've been like a big sister to me for about eight years now. You've always been the caring, thoughtful voice of reason. You've always cared for me like a little brother, and I will forever be grateful for that. I look forward to seeing the joy and adventures that marriage will bring you, and I wish you two a long, happy, loving life together. Yes.